Sin is death. Okay, I'm going to skip down to verse 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay, because we're, we're getting ready to enter into a time to where you're, you're not going to be able to just hop on YouTube and, and look for videos to find answers. Okay, the internet is about to be policed. Did you not hear me? The internet is about to be policed. They're about to police the internet. And when, when that's not enough, you know what's gonna happen next? They're gonna shut off the internet. Because this truth is like a flood that that's over flooding the internet. Every single day, Thousands of videos are going out. Thousands of videos are going out on YouTube. Thousands of information is going out on Google. New websites are popping up exposing, exposing the so-called white men in this agenda. Even if it's not affiliated with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, you still got so-called conspiracy theorists out there exposing the the the, 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 the wicked the wickedness uh, of the the so-called Illuminati, Ex exposing their wicked deeds, exposing their vile and wicked and filthy behavior. sure it's still recording. Okay, you got guys like Dabu Southern, Christopher Green, Eustace Mullins, and there, there's even more. Uh, uh, Dave Hodges from BlacklistedNews.com, The Common Sense Show, RT. There's so much information going out there exposing the wickedness of this country. All kinds of different alternative news media websites exposing the, the agenda. Uh, oh yeah, Infowars. So information is simultaneously going out exposing the wickedness of, of this country. So because so much information is going out, uh, inevitably, they're going to shut off the internet to where you're not going to be able to go on the internet looking for information. Information is going to be cut off for that day. Let me get that too in the book of Amos. Amos chapter... Okay, uh, Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come. The days come. That means time is moving forward to where this is going to happen. Save the Lord, the power of Israel, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So the time is coming where there's going to be a shortage of information. A shortage of, of, of information on what? On hearing the words of the Lord. So the time is coming where this, there's going to be a shortage of, of information on the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Spirit. So if you're an Israelite, it's important to get this word right now while you still can. Because the time is coming where they're going to shut off the internet and you're not going to be able to get this kind of information. Because, well, I just I just read it in the book of Proverbs, the first chapter, and the uh, 
and the 23rd and the 28th verse uh, earlier. How, how, uh, when, when, when the Lord said, then shall they call upon me, but I will not hear. Why? Because when, when, when you had the liberty to get right, you, 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 you spent, you spent the liberty that you spent the time and, and the liberty that you had to get right on, on BSing around. You wanted to keep going to clubs. You wanted to keep committing adultery. You wanted to go to college. You wanted, you, you, you spent your precious little time mocking and scoffing. You, 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 you've spent your, your, your time eating pork, talking shit. You, you, you spent your time being a simp. You, you, you spent your, your, your life in wickedness. So when that time comes, the Lord is not going to hear you because you didn't want to hear him. You, you didn't want to take the time to hear what the Lord had to say. So the Lord is not going to want to hear what you have to say in that day. Then the, the doors of mercy are still open. This is the time to get right. This is the time to, if you're an Israelite, which will be a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Indian, this is the time to, to be getting right with the Lord. Because the time is coming where you're not going to be able to find this information on the internet because the internet is going to be shut off. What you going to do in that, what you going to do in that day when, when, uh, a, a, a medical officer knock on your door talking about you got to take the juice or you're going to have or you're going to have to come with us what you going to do in that day what you going to do when they try to enforce the juice hell they might even give you time to think about it what you going to do you're going to go on your phone oh shit where the where them guys at talking about the juice, where they at? You might go on your laptop, where them guys at? They, they was talking about the juice. Yeah, they was talking about how they, they was gonna be juicing people and killing them with it. You ain't gonna be able to find that information anymore because the internet is gonna be shut off. And that's why, I mean, as you can see, it's snowing out here, so, you know, some snow, you know, getting in my face and all that. So that, that's why it's important to get this truth now, man. So back in uh, Psalms chapter 91, verse 2, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. What is a refuge? A refuge is a place of shelter. What is shelter usually used for? Shelter is usually used to, to, to protect you from, from, uh, from, from the different elements of the weather. Shelter is used to protect you from snow, it can be used to protect you from, from, from the harshness of the heat of the sun. Shelter can be used to protect you from rains, from, from storms, from, from, uh, from uh, heavy winds, from, from piercing cold winds. Shelter can be used for various things. So when, when, when the storm comes, the elect is gonna need some kind of refuge to protect them from that storm. And that refuge is Yahweh wa Yahawashah. Yahweh Bahashem Yahawashah. That is the refuge from the storm. And that storm is going to come in the form of famine. That storm is going to come in the form of disease warfare. That storm is going to come in the form of martial law. That storm is going to come in the form of torture, 
concentration camps, that storm is going to come in the form of murder, rape, deceit, cannibalism. That storm is going to come in the form of natural disasters, rather if they be hurricanes, floods, typhoons, tsunamis, ab abnormal, abnormal weather patterns, heat waves, forest, fri forest fires, lightning storms, Earthquakes. That storm is going to come in the form of disease warfare. That storm is going to come in the form of newly created beasts. That storm is going to come in the form of, of uh, monsters and apparitions. Other uh, uh, outer worldly creatures, like like how like how they show you in that movie, The Mist. So, if you're not of the elect, you're not going to receive any. You're not going to receive any refuge from the storm. The only ones that's going to receive refuge from the storm is the Lord's elect. And the ultimate, the ultimate storm that that's coming is the uh, the nuclear uh, the nuclear destruction. That's going to be the ultimate storm. And the only ones that's going to be delivered from that is the Lord's elect. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress my power, right, because we have only one power, and that's Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. The noisome pestilence is talking about intercontinental ballistic missiles. Have you ever heard the sound of a nuclear missile? They're pretty loud. They're not going to just be looking like glowing lights just traveling through the sky. Nah, you're going to you're going to hear the sound of these missiles traveling through the sky. OK, missiles have a very loud sound when, when, when they're traveling through the air. They have they, they make a very loud noise. OK. Have you ever heard the sound of, a, of, the, of the explosion of a nuclear missile? Okay, they make very loud explosions. Loud enough to make you go deaf. Okay, have you, have you ever been to a gun range? Okay, try, try shooting off a firearm at a gun range without wearing ear protections. You can go deaf. Okay, guns are loud. Well, the sound of a nuclear bomb exploding is, is a thousand times louder than, than a gunshot. So the Lord is going to deliver his elect men from the sound of a nuclear missile. The Lord is going to deliver his elect men from, from the nuclear destruction. He says, he shall cover thee with his feathers. What are the Lord's feathers? His angels. Okay, as it is written, come up hither and, and, uh, and hide thy face for a moment. Because the Lord is going to, he's going to command his angels to, to deliver his elect men from, from the, the, uh, the nuclear destruction. shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be, it says, his truth 
shall be thy shield and buckler. This truth, okay? A part of knowing the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is knowing the truth, in which the truth can only be found within the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. Man, it is brutally cold out here today, man. My hands are literally freezing up, and I got on gloves, and I got my hands in my pocket. It says, it says, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler, okay? A shield and buckler is, is, a, is a protection. So the Lord is going to protect his elect men in these last days. He's going to protect his elect men in these last days. Okay, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Okay, this, this is what's going to protect the Lord. Uh, the, the name of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, is what's going to protect uh, uh, the Lord's elect. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the, the arrow that flies by day. What's the arrow that flies by day? That's the intercontinental ballistic missiles. It says, Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. The destruction that wasteth at noonday. Again, the nuclear destruction of this wicked country. So the Lord is going to shield his elect men from, from these said perils. Matter of fact, I want to get that in the book of uh, Second Estrus, the ninth chapter. This is E's kingdom. He breaks all, he breaks his own laws. You see how much of a hypocrite he is? Now, if the police would have saw somebody else driving on the other side of the street like that, they would have got pulled over and arrested. But here it is, this man, this man could drive on the other side of the street and get away with it. Hypocrite. Um, Psalms chapter 91 verse 7 a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee and, and this is not only talking about the uh, nuclear destruction during World War three this is also talking about before the nuclear destruction because death is going to reign over this whole country and Pe pe people are going to be dying left and right, man. Okay? Pe people, people, shoot, my lips are freezing up, Salakia. Okay, people are going to be dying left and right out here in these last days. From, 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 from all, 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 from all kinds of sources, man. People is going to be dying from know martial law from bullets from race wars and civil wars from from fires and riots people is going to be dying out here from from disease warfare and uh, pestilences 
from from newly created beasts, from, from the beasts of the field. So it, it, it's going to get terrible out here, man. You know, thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. You know, you, you're going to, you know, you're going to just see, you're going to see, and if you're of the elect, you're going to witness people dying in, in, in dramatic manners, man, in dramatic ways. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is going to bring his wrath on, on the inhabitants of this place. Why? Because of their iniquities. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Right. Because the wages of sin is death. So when you live a life of sin, well, the Lord is going to reward you with death. Because of your refusal to repent and to get right. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh that dwelling. Your dwelling is your dwelling is you and your household. So if you're an Israelite man, if you're and you're of the elect, well, there is a possibility that you and your family can be de can be delivered from the coming disaster. You know, just continue to do the work. C continue to go out on the highways and hedges. Continue to do your videos. Continue to pay your tithes because there's a possibility that that the, that the Lord can deliver you and your household. You know, the Lord can do, He can save you, He can save your children, and He can also save your wife. All you have to do is continue to do the work, fast, pray, do that which is right in the sight of the Lord, and, and, and He can deliver you. Uh, verse 9 because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee uh, 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 to keep thee in all thy ways right now when 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 you it's it, it's in the book of Psalms but um it tells you that the angels of the Lord encamp around them that fear him and deliver them. So if you're of the elect, if you fear Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, guess what? The Lord has an angel encamped around you. Okay? There's a hedge around you. If, if, if you fear the Lord, the if you fear Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh there's an angel around you watching over you. And, and when that time comes, the Lord is gonna is gonna command his angels to, to deliver you out of the trials and tri tribulations that you're in. Now, with that being said, let's go to the book of Zechariah. Because in the book of Zechariah, it also speaks about how the Lord's elect is gonna call on him and the Lord is gonna deliver them. Okay, so this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, and you know what, I'll just start at 8, because amongst our nation, there's a separation. There's the two-thirds, and there's the one-third. The two-thirds are the ones who are, who are, who are going to be condemned to be destroyed because of their refusal to repent and because of their rebellion against the Heavenly Father and the Son. But the one third are going to be delivered through faith, and because they believed and they took heed to 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 to, to the Lord's warning, and also because they was ordained from the beginning to receive salvation. Okay, so at the end of the day, what determines if you're of the elect? You have to be chosen from the foundation of the earth. Okay, but 
Don't let that discourage you. Don't let that discourage you. Okay? Keep doing the work. Because if you're enduring to the end, well, there's a possibility that you could be of the elect. We don't know who the elect is. That's why we're hoping to be of the elect. To, 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 be, to be counted worthy to be a part of that number. So Zechariah chapter 13 verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land save the Lord. Okay, that land is talking about the land of America. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So two parts therein shall be cut off and die. The two parts is talking about the two thirds of, 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 of the nation of Israel. The two thirds of our people, they're gonna be cut off and die. Why? What are they gonna be cut off in? They're gonna be cut off in their iniquities. As it is written, uh, thine, thine, thine iniquities shall be thy accusers in that day. So our people is gonna be cut off in their iniquities and they're gonna be destroyed for, for the rebellion and the refusal to repent. Okay? Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire. So the Lord said he's gonna bring the, bring the third part through the fire. And you know, we always like to bring this up, okay? You know, uh, fire, fire is, is a cleansing agent, okay? Okay, the, the, the fire is a, is a reference, the fire is a metaphor or a, rep, or a representation of the hell that you're going through. So when the Lord brings you into this truth, it's not gonna be some kind of cakewalk. Okay, the, the, the Lord is putting his elect men through hell to, 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 to get rid of those impurities. You see? The Lord is putting his elect men through hell to, 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 to get rid of those impurities. Fire is a purifying agent. When you put gold or silver or platinum or, 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 or really any kind of metal to the fire, the fire purifies it. Just like a, a, a sword. When, 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 when you put a sword on, on a, on a, on a, uh, on, 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 when you put a sword on a, on a Advil, Back in the ancient world, when the blacksmith would, would put a sword on an Advil, what would he do? He would heat up the Advil to where it was blazing hot, and then he would take he he would take his his uh he would take his his smithing hammer and, and he would he would repeatedly bang at the hammer, bing, bing, bing. He would repeatedly hammer away at the hammer. He would do this to 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 increase the heat that 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 the blade or the sword would take, and that heat would be used to 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 to, to cause the blade to glow up a a, a a a a hot blazing color. And through that heat, that heat would be used to to purify the blade. That heat would be used to purify the blade to get rid of those impurities. Because the, 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 the more impurities you get rid of in the blade, the more shinier the blade is and the more durable the blade is. The blade has more durability to it when, when there's less impurities in it. The blade lasts as long. It doesn't crack as easily when, 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 when you strike it against armor or, or shields. So the blade is more durable and is also more shinier too. Like, have you ever seen a shiny blade before? That's because the blacksmith hammered away at those impurities 
on that on that blazing hot Advil. Okay, he 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 heated that blade up to where he was able to hammer away at the impurities in it. And then, of course, you know, he went through the process of uh, of uh, sharpening the blade, sharpening the blade. And then when the blade was cooled off, it was shiny. <laughs> the blade was shiny, man. So fire is literally a cleansing agent to get rid of impurities. So the Lord's elect is likened unto gold and silver. When, when you put gold and silver in the fire, you're, you're, you're heating up the gold and the silver to get rid of those impurities. So everything that we're going through throughout our daily life, it, it, it's, it's really to, to, to put us to the fire to get rid of those impurities. Okay, so it says, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. So the, 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 so the fire represents the hell that you go through, right? So the hell that you, so that that fire might come in the form of you being a child support in this truth. You know, you might have to, you might have to work two jobs just to make ends meet. You know, your, your car might break down, your boss might give you hell. Your, your woman, which is your demon, might give you hell. You know, the, uh, the Congress might pass uh, legislations to where your child might have to get juiced up, you know? And just, just, just anything, man, you know? Not, not, not being a partaker of this world. Okay, so, so, but, but as time progresses, the Lord is going to turn the fire up like, um, like Apostle Tahar has coined for this year, the year of, of turn up. So, so everything is going to be turned up this year. The hell that we're going to go through, you know, the, the, the Lord's prophets going out on the highways and hedges, going harder in the truth, going harder for the truth. Everything is going to turn up this year. Okay, and we'll try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them, and I will say it is my people, and they shall say the Lord is my power. <laughs> 